What do they call UFOs these days again? Uh, UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, which is a plural for phenomenon. Uh, well, this guitar had a UIP, Unidentified Intonation Phenomenon, singular, uh, had in the past, but I fixed it. It had a very interesting and unusual intonation issue when they brought it in. Uh, so interesting, in fact, that it's really worth watching this video. Hey friends, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, there are three things that can affect the intonation of a plucked string on a guitar. Number one, the length of the string. Well, that's actually adjustable, right? You can move the saddles back and forth. Number two, the height of the string. That's also adjustable. You can move the saddles up and down, and you can also file the string slots at the nut. But then there is number three. Now, what on earth is number three? Now, we talked about number one and number two. Oh, by the way, when I say number two, I don't mean the physiological number two, right? Which is what uh, everyone does, uh, including the members of the royal family, by the way, you know, because they're just human, like anybody else on this planet. Now, uh, I'm sure you've watched a previous episode of Guitar Quackery where we kind of talk about that. It's uh, the solar guitar video. Yeah, check it out. Uh, but anyway, back to number three. So there's no such thing as a physiological number three, you know. Oh, excuse me. Guitar Quackery. <laughs> No, I was not talking about that. I right, but thanks for uh, calling. Thanks, bye. <laughs> the viewer seems to uh, suggest that number three, physiologically speaking, might be the activity that is frequently associated with teenage boys. No, nah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about uh, number three on the repair bench in a guitar shop. So what is that? Well, if I told you, uh, then there would be no incentive for you to keep watching this video. So I don't want to just blurt it out, right? Just keep watching and you might be surprised. We got an interesting intonation phenomenon. Um, very interesting. So this is a Jackson mini guitar. A child plays it. The music teacher said that there's a problem with the intonation, so they brought it in. Uh, as you can see, the guitar doesn't have a capo anywhere. It's uh, That's the nut. That's the bridge, the saddle sphere. So uh, open strings. Okay. Let's have a look at uh, the low E string first. We have a tuner right here. So it's tuned to E. If we play the same string on the 12th fret, it plays an E, just as we would expect it to. If we play the first harmonic here on the 12th fret, it plays an E. So far, so good. Now let's play the uh, high E string. Again, it's tuned to E. And if we play the same string on the 12th fret, it plays a D sharp, E, D sharp. If you want to play an E, you need to play it on the 13th fret. Okay, so E, D sharp. Okay, now if we try to play the first harmonic on the uh, high E string, 
it doesn't want to play the harmonic. We need to move over to the 13th fret to play the harmonic. Right, it's an E. Okay, so what's going on? Well, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you here a close-up with my phone. So this is a, a caliper, okay? If we measure the diameter of the string, it measures 0.26 millimeters, okay? Now let's move over to, how about this area here? 0.16 millimeters, okay? So there's a big difference. Now I'll show you the same string through the microscope. I'm gonna move the guitar over here. And let's focus on, uh, on the high E string. So here you see it. Let me put some more light. Okay. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of rust on the string. Okay, but um, it should uh, just kind of uh, make a note of the diameter of the string, okay? And now let's move the guitar in this direction, maybe over to this area here. And you can kind of see that uh, the string is really thinner, okay? So, and right here is very thin. Okay. So, it's basically wear and tear of the string that's causing this issue. If I move the guitar all the way in this direction, we look at uh, the same string further up the fretboard. It becomes thicker again. And here over the pickups, it's uh, thicker, right? And here it is at the saddle. Okay, there seems to be some oil there. I don't know what that is. I didn't put it there. Hence the old Chinese proverb guitar strings don't last forever. If you think this was interesting and fascinating, just wait until you see the next example, uh, which is coming up. But before we talk about it, let me just uh, clarify a few details about what you've just seen. So I'm sure you've noticed that sometimes when you play a guitar, you get black lines on your fingertips. Well, those are metal deposits from the strings, which means Every time you play a guitar, you are in fact removing a little bit of metal from the strings. So the strings get thinner and thinner. Obviously, to the point where uh, it might be audible, like we've just seen. But like I said, I do have a second example, which is similar, but different. Once upon a time, when I was just a little boy, a wise old man brought his bass to guitar quackery. Although the man was wise and old, or old and wise, he was not wise enough, or, or perhaps not knowledgeable enough, to figure out on his own, which is why he asked me, why he couldn't set up the intonation on his bass. So he came over here, we put his bass on the bench, and he asked the obvious question. What's wrong with my bass? Let's have a look. Oh, this isn't the same bass. Uh, this is just uh, a bass that I'm using to show you the problem or the phenomenon. I was able to replicate the phenomenon on this bass for you. So, it's a jazz bass with four strings. It's tuned. 
kind of close enough. Right? So we'll focus our attention to the D string. Let's play it. It's a D. Okay, so now let's play it at the octave. It plays C sharp, 13th fret, D, slightly flat. What about the 5th fret? It should be a G, F sharp, 6th fret, G, just like the G string, kind of like the G string. So, what's wrong with the bass? Well, I'll show you. I'm sure that's why you're watching. Let's have a look at the bridge first. The bridge looks okay. The saddles look fine. We see a pattern close enough, uh, the kind of pattern we expect to see, okay? Now, um, the string has an issue. Here, on the seventh fret, you can see that the string tapers off. So here, it's thick throughout, you know, the rest of the scale. But here, it tapers off, it becomes thinner, and it's thin. It kind of looks like the taper on the A string, which serves a purpose. But obviously, this does not serve a purpose. This is a, a factory defect. If we take a caliper, we can take a measurement. Why don't we do that? So, the thickness of the string is 1.64 millimeters. But if we measure the same string here, it's 1.30. 31, somewhere around there. Okay, so obviously we have a defective string. We also have a microscope. So why don't we use it? I'm going to show you the string under the microscope. So here we see clearly that uh, the string has a, a defect, it tapers off. Okay? This is the part. Okay. Now, this is the actual string that was on the actual base in question. Um, I took the string off and I saved it for the future because I was thinking in advance that one day which is obviously today I would be making a YouTube video obviously this video for you to watch and here it is and now you know what number three is all about the unidentified intonation phenomenon which is a little bit of a misnomer now that we've identified what it is, but I just kind of like the sound of it, so let's just keep calling it that. All right, what else can I tell you? I can tell you a little bit about the channel. So if you like to see this kind of content in the future, let me know, click the like button, click the share button. This way you help the channel grow so the community can benefit from this kind of content. Uh, what else? Oh, you can support this channel, even financially, you can click the link that says buy me a coffee. I need coffee to stay up at night to edit these videos. And you can also buy some Guitar Quackery merch that helps the channel. Okay. Uh, all the contributions will be used to grow this channel. Okay. What else? Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.